I know you want to learn some shit, so let's burn some shit. Hey. Psyche Soap, once again, y'all. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Because you know when this music comes on. <laughs> you know what a time it is. All right. Some of you brothers are coming from this storm of emotions called the Red Pill Rage. Maybe all of you within the sound of my voice are. There are many paths to self-actualization because it's one's own individual path. It just so happens to be that you have a storm in your path if you really look at it. Well, no matter what you have to do, you got those constant battles within yourself to prove readiness for outward battles. What I mean by that is that you direct those arrows towards yourself before directing those at others. As evidenced in the first one of these videos in my series. Now, every now and again, you may see yourself in, in an inclement weather day right now. It's fine to take off a day or two to prevent yourself from being a burning pile of rage. All right? Here's why I grill, brothers. Now, for brothers that can't afford to take time off, consider this. The antidote to your anger is to vent it in a healthy way, yet patience and compassion with yourself and the person with whom you're angry with goes a long way. Okay. I don't mean to sound all woo and shit, new agey on you. I'm not religious. But I do recognize that invoking your chosen higher power can cool hot emotions and give yourself an arm's length distance from the situation to assess it in a balanced and well-rounded way. Takes a lot, but it's true. Oh, consider this, my fellow agnostics, because I am one also. Think of the Great Electron or some shit. <laughs> you know, big up to George Collin for that. It makes sense. Try this exercise, MGTOW brothers. It only takes five, no, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Or maybe your whole day. Number one, sit comfortably. Spine as straight as you can make it. If you feel too bad to sit, lay back, propped up, what have you. Calm yourself by taking deep breaths and then breathe as, as you naturally would. Right? Without even thinking about it. Number two. Now focus your attention on your red pill rage. Don't analyze it all yet, man. Just run through it from top to bottom back again. Number three. Imagine the face of the most loving, caring being you can think of I don't care if it's your child, Carl Sagan, Jesus or Muhammad, it could be a loved one or a special teacher. You may think of it as a manifestation of the spirit. Or it's just a caring and compassionate being, you know. Four. Spend a few minutes in the presence of this loved one or special teacher. Talk to them. Talk to them out loud. Or silently about your anger, rage, or even envy. Five. 
Offer your negative emotions up to this loving being to be healed and transformed. Sit quietly for a few minutes and end your meditative exercise. I'll leave you with this from one of my commenters or subscribers. JT, we'll just call him that for short, purposes of this video. And he says, and I quote, The mental effort and self-conviction, self-direction, the creative flow that sometimes goes off on a tangent, and social sacrifices and isolation, opposition, anxiety, the mental effort, the long game of the mission is the real sacrifice. The real sacrifice that requires the most conviction, not the actions of the enemy or the fear thereof or even death. End quote. Absolutely brilliant. Gentlemen, you know where the links are. And if my spirit leaves my body or consciousness leaves my body, however you see it, the last thing that was left in my heart and mind is that I went my own way. 